So can you edit a YouTube video after you've already posted the YouTube video? And the answer is yes, and it's built right into YouTube. Let me show you how it works. So if you go inside of your YouTube studio and click on any video that you wanna edit, on the left side, you'll see this editor panel. That's gonna bring you to this page, and this is the timeline of your entire video, and you have a video track, you have an audio track, and over here you have an end screen track, and you could edit your end screens here too. And if you look on top, we could trim and cut videos. I'm gonna show you this. You could blur sections of the video. A lot of times, if you put something that you shouldn't have, like a license plate or maybe a credit card number, you could go ahead and blur that a little bit later, and then you will apply it to your existing video. You don't have to edit the video. You could edit the audio. I'm gonna show you this too. So let's start with trim and cut. If you choose this option, you have a few different things you could do. You could cut out the beginning of the video. So if I just take the slider and if I just go a little bit further out, so right here, it says I'm at the 20 second mark. That means the first 20 second of the video will get completely removed. All your views stay, all your thumbs up stay, everything stays, just this section will disappear. So you just have to press save to do that. And I'm gonna bring it back here. And on the end of it as well, you could do the same thing. You could cut it and it will cut the end part out of the video too. So that's how you cut the beginning and the end. But what if you wanna cut something in the middle of the video? Well, you could do that too. As long as you have this right here, you could go on top wherever you want your cut to start. Let's say I wanna just cut out this little section over here. I could start a new cut and now the section in red will get deleted. So I could just decide where it ends Again, if I want to change where it starts, I could do that. I could press play on top here to just preview this little section. And if I want to cut it, I just have to click this check mark and it's going to cut it. So it's going to go wherever this ends and then jump over here. This section will get removed. Now, if I want to keep that, I go press save right on top or I could discard it if I change my mind and we'll bring it back. Now, the blur option, you could click this and you could do a face blur. So this is going to detect the faces in your video and blur those. So that will be my face over here. So this is useful if you accidentally got someone in your video you shouldn't have. Or you could do a custom blur and then you'll get this box right over here. And then you could move this box. Let's say I want to blur my logo. I could put it over here. You have different shapes too. So this is a useful option. A lot of people could just blur a video instead of just making any edits to it. And you also have this audio option, which is really nice. So you could go ahead and add music. This is royalty free music from the YouTube audio library. So if you want to do that, if you for some reason used any music that you shouldn't have, you could go ahead and use any of these songs and then you just add them over here and they will get included over here in your audio track. And then you could go ahead and select these and they have different options. So if I want this to be background music, I could lower the volume here to be background music. And if I wanna remove it, I could go ahead and remove it from there. And if your edit is music related, I highly recommend you get royalty free music so you don't come across this type of issue again. So YouTube Studio has some audio that you could choose, but it's very limited. So I use a platform called Envato Elements. If you go to the music tab here, you get what's called royalty free music. They have millions of different songs you could choose from. And then all you do is search for the song that you want, press play on it. If you like it, you just go ahead and press download. And again, these are royalty free, so you have a license to use it. So I recommend you subscribe to a platform like this. This one also gives you access to all kinds of other things like sound effects, graphics, I get photos, this is royalty free photos you get from here. You get stock video to really spice up your video editing with different clips you could get. These are all royalty free too. So avoiding copyright, obviously a good reason to use a platform like this. So you have permission to use any of the assets that you wanna use inside of your video all in one place. So I'll link this below as well. Now, the only thing you can't do inside of YouTube Studio, especially after you upload a video is you can add. So you could subtract, you could cut any portion out, you could change the audio, you could do a lot of different things, but you can't add anything. So if you wanted to add a new section or something to the beginning to the end, you can't do that. So in that specific case, there is no way to do it. You'll have to upload a new video, but everything else you could do inside of YouTube Creator Studio. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.